but first we're going to go ahead and go to GoDaddy. And then we'll sign in. Okay, and then you're going to pick the one or the domain that you want to work with. And then we'll go down until we see Manage DNS. And then for the most part, you really don't have to mess with anything up here. It's just going to be this part right here in the forwarding. So you'll edit it and then you'll want to see the real link to it. So this is ours right here. And then as you can see right here, this is what we're really going to pay attention to. It's the HTTPS. So we'll go back to the domain and make sure it's scheduled or put on the right one because as you can see this top one doesn't have the S. So you want to make sure that you select the correct one so that it'll work. And then you're just going to go ahead and paste in the link. But you do want to make sure that you go back and delete this first half right here because it's already here. And then you're going to want to do permanent so that way it's always done. And then for the setting, for the settings right here, um, forward only means that whenever you type in the bookwithjack.com, it'll still pop up with this link. But if you want it to be masked, that, that means when you put in bookwithjack.com, it'll still hide this. And the only link that you'll see is the bookwithjack.com. So I like the forward with masking. And then here you just want to add in um, just the title of it, descriptions, uh, and any type of keywords that you want. This really isn't too, too important, but they do require it. So I would just add in whatever you want in here. And then you'll just hit save. And it may take up about an hour or so. Um, it could take up possibly 24 hours, but usually it is pretty quick. So I would give it about an hour before you recheck it to make sure that it's working. New page and then type in our bot domain and then it'll pop up with your domain here and it's also masked so it hides the real link behind this.